G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks for being here. We're going to have some fun today. I'm going to use my Druzy Crystal Amethyst Mold today. Um, I haven't actually used it before. Um, so, I am going to put in, I want, I want a really, really pale purple. So I, I'm tossing up between Let's Resin Purple and Let's Resin Dark Indigo. I put a little drop on here before. One is much darker and then one's more of a pinky purple. I'm thinking that sort of shade, the darker one, which is the Dark Indigo, but obviously not that dark. So I'm going to start with just one drop. Okay, one drop. <laughs> Wow. Okay, let's let's mix this in. Uh, this is the Platinum River Table Epoxy or resin. It's uh, it's for deep pores. Okay, I'm thinking I don't need all that much. Let's wipe some of this away. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's for deep pores. It does take um, it, for me. It takes almost two days before I can unmold. Probably. Oh gosh, I'm just trying to get that it's off the side of the cup there because it's quite a lot of ink. <laughs> Knowing me, I'll want to put it back later, but oh gosh, you wouldn't think one drop would be so strong, would you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's see how that goes. I want it just, you know, just a hint of purple is all I want. I'm going to tip this into another cup because. I don't want what's stuck on the side of the cup and trying to wipe it off isn't working so let's just let's just pour oh gosh now I'm getting more bubbles um, it doesn't matter actually because I am gonna be using my vacuum chamber today I am all right I think that'll be all right Gee, one drop is really strong, isn't it? Now I'm scraping, but I'm not scraping where the coloured resin is. Wow, one drop's really strong. Okay. Oh, there we go. So that's that's my one drop. Probably even more than what I wanted, but that's okay. Um, now, um, I, I'm not going to... If I wasn't using a pressure pot or vacuum chamber, I'd squirt some... Um, 100% alcohol in there first, you know, to help with the bubble release. But I'm not going to today. I am just going to pour this straight in. Did want it a bit paler than that, but one drop. I like the shade. The, the shade's really pretty. I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now... I don't have to rush with the river table resin um, because it, it has got a very long work time. So I'm just going to do that at the moment. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to carry it over to my vacuum chamber. And then once I've done that, I'll come back and get you, okay? Because I can't do you both at once. <laughs> right, oh, so there it is sitting in there. And there is the compressor. So I'm going to pick up the lid. This is always a little bit tricky to do with one hand. Because I need to feel to make sure that I've got the same overhang all the way around, which I don't. Just check it. Make sure that you've got the same overhang. I'll give it a bit of a press. Okay, so what you need to do is both of these the blue ones pointing up the red ones pointing up they're both closed so now we need to open this one it's going to go in line with that tubing so we know that's open and then we go over here to the compressor and on the back is a switch turn that on okay it has oil in it a little, it's full at the moment, but it has oil in it there. 
and then this gauge here as well also has oil in it you can see the little bubble there so at the moment the vacuum is vacuuming it's sucking <laughs> and I want this little needle to go all the way around as close to that minus one as possible I don't know that I will let it go all the way because um, if this starts to bubble too much it's going to overflow so I haven't filled my mold it's almost full but not full totally because uh, once the pressure builds up a lot more once the vacuum starts going up even higher we're going to get bubbles coming up and there they are Oops, reflection sorry there's bubbles coming up so we'll just wait I do like to keep an eye on it because like I said I don't want it all overflowing and resin running down the side of the mold and into the bottom of the pot it is sitting on a little silicon mat it came with it so if you do get any drips it's easy enough to to pick off that silicon mat so it's pretty much covered in bubbles now and we are not quite at the end see the minus one that red line right at the end not quite there yet but I am going to now the bubbles are going crazy look they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to flick that switch off and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to close that. If you don't close this, you're going to get oil coming up from your compressor being sucked into your tubing and you'll see like a collection of oil in, in there. I have got a little bit there because I learned the hard way and I thought oh gosh what's that sitting in there um, and I tipped it all back in again but if you don't it'll make its way in here and you'll end up with oil in there so close that if there's a tiny bit in the bottom of the tube there it won't matter but just close that so now those bubbles are sitting there they're coming up they're popping they're coming up they're popping but me being me, I am impatient. I, I'm not going to wait. So, I mean, they do, they do sort of come up and pop on their own, but it's very slow. So what I'm going to do is I am going to let some air into that. And by doing that, I just open the valve a little bit. You can hear it. Not too fast. The gauge will go back up again. And those bubbles... They will disappear because there's oxygen getting in there now and they will pop the bubbles. If you release this valve too fast, you could crack your glass. So just do it slowly. And then all those bubbles will go. Once the gauge, the needle has come back down to zero, then I can take the lid off. I can't take it off now because there's still vacuum there. but. Once it gets down to zero, we can open that and now we can take the lid off. So this is where if you wanted to, you could now give it a quick torch, which I will do. Just pop those excess bubbles on the top. Um, I am also going to give it a squirt with some isopropyl alcohol. Like so. I'm going to put the lid back on. Whoops, we're stuck around the <laughs> compressor. It's hard doing this one handed, you guys. I need some help. I need some help. Alright, again, make sure that we've got the same amount of overhang all the way around. Wouldn't have to worry about it if I was using two hands. Okay, so now we need to close this again. When it's open, it's facing the same way as the tubing or the valve, okay? So now we need to close that again. We need to open this one again. And we go on. 
Okay, so we're doing that again. So we'll wait for the gauge to get all the way around to the negative one. The bubbles will come up again. And uh, I'm going to do this a few times. I have found that I, I can't get all the bubbles out. They must come out of the silicone as well, I think. But they're out of the resin. And I also shine a torch in there. Uh, once I think I'm done, I'll get my little torch or flashlight. I'll shine it in on the resin um, and see if there's any bubbles in there. And if there's not, then that's it. Then I'll just move on to the next step. So I'm going to do this a few more times, get as many bubbles out as I can. Um, and then I'll show you the next step, what I'm going to do next. All right, I think I'm done. I did shine a torch into it earlier and I couldn't see any bubbles. So I'm going to call that done. Now, I've got this little sheet here that I've cut. Hopefully it's to shape. You know, the um, iridescent cellophane. So... I am going to lay that over the top. Now, I can't do it one-handed, so, and I can't, oh, actually, I could, no, let's, I could take the pot over to the bench, couldn't I? Oh, no, no, it's very full. I can't risk spilling it. I'm just going to have to put the camera down. I'm going to lay this down um, on the top, um, and, yeah, oh, hopefully, hopefully it'll fit. All right, it's, it's a rough, <laughs> it's a rough cut. I, I, I had to kind of estimate, but it looks to me as if it's got good, good contact. Oops, now I've just stuck my stick in the resin. I'm trying to watch what I'm doing and look through the screen at the same time. I think it looks to me as if we've got good contact. So, I mean, there's a bit of a gap there and, and that, but look, I think it's, I think it's going to be fine. I'm just wondering how it's going to go, you know, because I don't think I've ever done this before. It was a toss-up between this and the holographic paper. But because I've put purple in the resin, um, the holographic paper may not work because it's not clear. Mm, might not be able to see through it as well because it's not clear. But anyway, well, I'm going to go with this. Now, this needs to sit in here for the next two days, so... Bye bye resin, I will see you in two days and I will see you guys in two days. It'll be two seconds for you but it'll be two days for me. Right, see you soon. Righto guys, it's been two days and I'm going to unmold. Hopefully, hopefully it's going to work, it's going to look pretty. Now with this cellophane, uh, it stays in there. It's not like the holographic paper which is laser etched which actually leaves the laser uh, detail in the resin this one it's just a piece of plastic so um, yeah if you take it off you're not going to have any sort of effect at all oh it's out <laughs> there we go oh that was easy okay oh wow <gasps> I'm loving it already let me just break off these little excess bits that I had of overflow. I'm, I'm loving it already and I haven't even turned it over yet. Oh wow. oh wow, oh wow, so exciting. It's early in the morning, I haven't even had my coffee yet. I was too excited, I had to come into the studio and unmold. I think that's all, yep. Yeah. Just a little bit of overflow that went into the centre of the little island. Oh, are we ready? Oh, I hope it works. Let's go. Oh, no way. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. <gasps> oh, wow. That, that's beyond my expectations of how beautiful that is. Oh, I'm hoping you can see what I can see. Oh, my gosh. It's just amazing. Outside is all shiny and gorgeous. It's if you can see through the center there, it's picking up little bits of goldy colors. I don't know where it's coming from. It must be from the, the paper underneath. And then, of course, underneath, you've got your blue and your pink and your gold. Not that we're looking at the back, though. We're looking at the front, the top. <gasps> Look at that. 
I don't know whether you guys can pick up all the different colors and what I'm seeing I'll, I'll try and tilt slowly so that you can see so it's kind of blue that way pale 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 purple which is what I <laughs> I ended up getting hey a very pale purple which is exactly what I wanted I didn't want just clear and then we tilt it back this way I'm gonna have to take it outside for you aren't I just to see outside because I don't think you can see what I'm seeing. So you want to look straight down, I've got gold, I've got purple, I've got pink. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love it. I am in love with it. I've got this gorgeous, smooth, shiny exterior here. And the gorgeous, gorgeous facets of all those crystals. It was uh, formed from a, a real amethyst crystal so it's got the exact imprint from those crystals so it's very very sparkly oh wow hope you like it I'm gonna go outside and right now right now I'm gonna go outside come with me all right let's go go around the studio round we go <laughs> Round we go, round we go. There's some orders that I did yesterday that are going to get posted out. I'll just pop that there for a minute and open the doors. Open the doors. Okay. Oh, look at the way it's shining at the moment. It's just sitting there in it, but it's it's shining. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're getting like a turquoise. This is so exciting. All right, let's go outside. Oh, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Here we go. Now, where am I going to hold it? Oh, I'm going to get into the into the sun. It's still early. <laughs> like I said, it's still early. So there's... The sun hasn't even come up properly yet. All right, let's have a look. We'll come over here into this sunlight over here. Now, don't drop it, Julie. Don't drop it. Where am I going to hold it so I don't drop it? Oh, gosh. I need another hand. How's that? Can we see that? Oh, look at that! It looks gold. It's literally sparkling everywhere. Oh, can you guys see that? I'm looking over the top of the camera on my phone. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. Wow, Ooh, look at that, it's so pretty, oh my gosh, this has got to be, I know I've said before, I'm, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever created, but I think this, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever created, just look at that, now, um, if I go up here, we'll just walk up the driveway a little bit, there's the shed, <laughs> There's the studio on the end, <laughs> there's my house. <laughs> oh, there's a granny flat down there. Now, um, if I walk over here towards the, the grass, if I can get a nice little background against the, the greenery, how's that gonna look? Oh wow, okay, enough wows already. Enough wows already! <laughs> Unbelievable. Alright, I will pop this mould um, in my store if anybody wants one. Oops, I'm in the shadows there. <laughs> Get out of the shadows! <laughs> in the shadows. Alright, so there we can still see our pale, very pale purple there. And then when we tilt it into the sun, it's just a myriad of colours and sparkles. Just amazing. Alright, <laughs> I'm going to go back inside and have my coffee now because I was just so excited to do this. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Wait, there's a bit of bark on that. Get off! <sighs> Something in there. <laughs> Get off! Get off my piece. Alright, I'm going to go back inside now and have my coffee. Look at that. Okay, off I go, off I go. Oh look, we're getting different colors as we go. In the shade, 
Here's the shade. Still picking up pretty colours in the shade though, aren't we? Look at that. Wow. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. I didn't think I'd get any colours in the shade. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's just incredible. It's, oh, I'm beyond words. Beyond words. Oh, okay. All right, let's go back to the studio. Need a coffee. Down we go. Oh, there we go, into the shade again. That's no sunshine there, because the studio's, the studio's just there. It's blocking the, the sun. Oh, but now it's turquoise. I didn't even put any turquoise in it. And it's good because you, when you're looking at it like that, even through the side, you can't see that cellophane on the bottom. It's not until you turn it over that you can see the cellophane. So people are going to go, oh, wow, that's amazing. How did you do that? And you can see the crystals through the side. And they won't know that there's cellophane underneath. It's just, a, it's a trick. It's a trick. <sighs> okay, I have to stop. I can't deal anymore. I just can't do. Oh my God, look, we're getting inside. Look at it, it's changing again. <laughs> Dogs can hear me talking and they're carrying on. Oh, so good. All right, that's enough. Yeah, there's some orders I made up yesterday that I need to post out today. And there's some more moulds that I've made. Yes, hello doggies. Moulds that I've made. Moulds ready to ship out. Oh, the grout. Actually, I should tell you, the, um, the backsplash was finally tiled and grouted yesterday. Only just done yesterday, so it's love to come back and clean it up. And there's the little uh, powder room in there. Still waiting for its mirror, but it's looking good. It's looking good, isn't it? More storage. And then this is where I, this is my little packing station here. All right. How's that look against black, I wonder? <laughs> okay. Don't get me started again. Look at the pink. Now we're getting pink. Oh. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. All right. I'm going to go. <clears throat> it's just a little bit more. Do you guys want to see a little bit more? All right. Seeing we've got you here. A little bit more. A little bit more workstations. There's a TV. <laughs> Round we go. Oh, there's my bins. Uh, more storage. More storage, more storage. There's my vacuum chamber there. Little drawers for coasters. More bits and pieces. Mica powders. There's a chair. That's where Izzy sits underneath. paint and canvases, my two mould making tables are in the middle, but there's my, oh, don't even look at my messy workstation, I've got so many projects on the go at the moment, that's where my videos are, I do my videos there, this is where I put my, my phone, it just sits in there, like so, alright, better go, I really need a coffee now. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I will see you guys all real soon for the next video, all right? So thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video, and uh, I will see you again real soon for the next one. Okay, take care, guys. Love you all. Bye for now.